This is what I'm dealing with here. She's she right there. Look at her. Okay. Now, what's going on, everybody? I just now got out of the house. Um. Uh, it's it's <laughs> between um working down at the property and stuff, and uh just been a little bit busy this week, and turn around and find out that uh. I don't know when you all are watching this, but tomorrow is, is Mother's Day. It's Saturday right now. And, um, it's all crap. So then we get up today, we go over to Mom and Dad's, and, <clears throat> you know, Mom just had her knee surgery, so we were there hanging out with her. Well, she didn't just have it. It was like a week ago or a week and a half ago or whatever, but, um, she's doing good. Hanging out over there. Then I got some, uh, some buddies want to go down to the property and, uh, shoot today, shoot guns. So, um, uh, that's supposed to be happening at three o'clock and it's 1241 right now. So uh, Just now I got able to leave and Trying to go get Amy some Mother's Day stuff, but I mean that is one of the <clears throat> um, You know, I'm extremely lucky I guess in that way that uh, You know Amy is definitely not about presents and not about materialistic things and not about jewelry not <clears throat> it's really hard to get for her because she puts uh, you know everybody before her um, you know and she never treats herself to to anything you know and it's really silly stuff like I noticed she got this this nail care kit off of Amazon she gets uh, ingrown nails every once in a while on her toes and normally the only relief was this one place uh, up here by the house they do um, what is it manicure and pedicures or whatever and it would help her because she you know gets it hurts her or whatever so but she won't go get, get it like you know whatever like twice a month or three times a month or whatever i don't care about any of that stuff but whatever she wants to do she can do you know she deserves everything so but she won't do it it's almost like i have to do i have to make her do stuff um so last year i don't know if you remember surprised her with uh, the ring um uh, maybe you'll see in this video hopefully sometime but uh the the ring where the it's the it's the four rings that are soldered together to and i think it signifies like you know each kid or whatever so but that's what we did last year and she was you know blown away and excited and really liked it but of course um she was you know aggravated that um she just doesn't like money being spent on her it's really weird but uh so you know i'm thinking well can i get her jewelry and you know, I, I, she already has a couple nice necklaces and she already has earrings and she already has, she actually doesn't wear earrings hardly ever, but, um, you know, now she's got her two rings and I'm like, man, what in the crap am, am I going to get her? And I'm like, I, she's just really hard to get for. So, uh, so I'm going to go get her a gift card to the, uh, nail place to get her nail and feet done. And then maybe try to get her a pair of shoes uh she, you know she likes shoes of course but she's hard to get shoes for every time i get shoes for her, she'll you know i'll get the she'll take them back and get different ones but i'm the same way i'm very ocd about my shoes but not as bad as trey but uh um maybe a pair of shoes but the biggest thing is tomorrow sunday uh we're gonna try to go for a motorcycle ride and um between boating and motorcycle riding uh Amy's in heaven, so uh, haven't told her yet. Um, you know, I I, I, th I think she'll really like you know, you know really just, just going for a ride and relaxing for the day or whatever. You know, and it might be might be good. So, um, so we're not we're not. It's nice that we're not you know filming tomorrow. So we'll be filming on on Wednesday, so we can do that. So I might talk to Brian and Jennifer, but it is Mother's Day tomorrow, so. You know might just be me and her you know i don't know yet or whatever but we'll try to you that'll all be in this video but going to uh well first stop at the bank and get some cash and then go to the nail place get that and then uh be back here in a second first one down queen nails right there that's where they're at queen nails this thing locked explain to you what i'm all talking about here Okay, sorry. Trying to move around here. All right. Okay, so I got the gift certificate. Whatever it is. Um, it's funny. I kind of walk. I walked in there, and I don't know if you saw that before, but that's where it's at. Queen Nails, We're right here, in um, about five minutes away from the house. This little shopping center. We come up here for 
should go to Remke and stuff for Remke's a little bit more expensive. Kroger's at the bottom of the hill in Latonia, so she'll go to Kroger. But there's a, a grocery store here, and there's McDonald's. Kind of funny. That Taco Bell right there, KFC, right there. We used to go there. Me, Amy, and Trey. It's starting to get a little fuzzy. Um, but I think it was every... Uh, how much would you go here? I think it was... It was either every Saturday for lunch or every Sunday for lunch. I can't remember which one it was, but we were there every single day. And that's, we'd go up there and um, when we first started YouTube on the main Bell Live channel, decide what we were going to do for the day and then leave from there and go back home and film. But gosh, it's been eight years ago. But anyways, I uh, got that gift certificate. What I was getting at before earlier, like for instance, you know, Christmas, I always get her like... Uh, uh, what am I trying to say? Um, oh my gosh, why am I drawing a blank? I get her, uh, geez, a piece, it shouldn't be this hard. Um, gift certificates, golly, sorry, to uh, like Lululemon and uh, Pink and Victoria's Secret and uh, those places. She's literally, she's she has like, like, a, I don't know, a, a a few months ago, we went to Kenwood Mall. That's where Lululemon is. And um, she pulled three gift certificates out. I, I, I think it was for three Christmases. And had like, there was a lot of money on it. And I'm like, what? haven't you used any of these? And that's what I'm getting at. She just doesn't spend money on herself. So, um, uh, and, and she deserves, you know, infinity money spent on her. Because, um, because... Cause I, I'm the opposite. I, I wanna I wanna give her everything that that she wants, but that's what it's aggravating. And she says she doesn't want anything. And when she says she doesn't want anything, it's not a fake little deal. She literally doesn't want anything. And it's like, gosh, I'm trying to, you know, I want you to have everything. And um, but you know, I could go on go on forever about it. But got the gift certificate. Uh, got it was a hundred. Got a hundred dollars. Cause they they have a million different options i'm like well for manicure and pedicure like what's the what's the best option you got here and they're like well it's 80 dollars oh well it could go to 105 dollars i'm like well we'll just do 100 and then you know because i don't know how much it i don't i don't even know how much it costs to do it i'm not sure but i think 100 is good and then we'll go look at some uh shoes real quick and see if we can find her a good nice pair of shoes but she specifically told me do not get any jewelry or there's going to be a um or she's gonna be mad and that's not a, a playful mad like you're like oh you know don't get me jewelry but if you accidentally get me some jewelry I'll be excited about it it's a that was a no don't get jewelry because I don't want to spend the money on jewelry so I'm like okay well I guess we won't get jewelry so um but she didn't say anything about shoes and other stuff did she <laughs> so we'll, we'll go to uh, I don't know if we're gonna go to Crestview or where we're gonna go I'm trying to decide there's a Dillard's in there. Dillard's just got some decent shoes. I don't even know what size shoes she wears. I didn't even look. She was in, I, th I think I got a picture. I think it's eight and a half, eight or eight and a half, something like that. But probably should have looked at that before I left the house. But we'll try to find a pair of shoes. Be back. Okay, show you what I got here. Just kind of, we went to Crestview Hills. And if you guys know anything about uh, um, Northern Kentucky area, this is like, Florence Mall is kind of, I don't know how to explain it. Um, I think it's kind of going out of business, which sucks because I really like going there. Going to Florence Mall as a kid was like, it was, you know, freaking awesome. I like the mall. But uh, this place, uh, when Trey and um, all of them were younger, I now I can't remember that, but I can remember it a little bit. There used to be a store called McAlpin's, and there used to be like a little mall here, I think. And then um, that all went away when I was younger. And I, they built this place, I can't remember how many years ago, probably probably a good 15 years ago or something. Um, Dad got actually a TV from one of these stores. It's not here anymore, but our first uh, plasma TV, I'll never forget that. But um, they got Bed Bath & Beyond, which is closing. It says store closing. DSW Shoes, which is where we went. Um, Dillard's. Uh, all kinds of stuff here. I don't know. Restore Hyper Wellness, Portrait Innovations, First Watch, all that crap. But went in there, 
and I'm freaking excited because uh, I I found these and this is a check them out so Converse is all black black soles black everything black eyelets which I like uh, and they're the th they're the thicker ones with the you know they're thicker around here I like the thicker Converse's in the mid mid heights I don't like the lows and I don't like the extremely tall ones. I like these with the foam that are a little bit thicker around the sides. And if you've seen in videos over the years, I've had a pair of black ones with uh, black with a little bit of blue in them uh, for years. Believe it or not, I actually got them in 2016 um, at Kohl's and bought two pairs of them. Uh, and uh, the one pair finally worn out like and I threw them away in 2021 or something like that and whipped the other ones out of the closet uh and been wearing them they're still almost new been wearing them for a little while but it's uh i don't get shoes ever hardly and found those in all black like that and that's freaking trey likes the normal converse is just the regular all stars you know that are that are skinny J just fabric no foam in there and i like a little i like them to be a little bit thicker i don't know why but that was a cool find so i tried to find those in women's um but they don't have those in women's Amy always says when we go shoe shopping that the guys have cooler colors and she's right. I went to the Converse section and they didn't have anything cool at all like the guys. So then she's an eight and a half. So then I went back to the guys to try to find what the guys say it would be like a six and a half in men's and couldn't find it there because I thought maybe she'd, but I don't, she never wears high tops so, or mids, whatever those are. So I don't think she's really going to be into those, but so we ended up with these for Amy. Yeah. New balances. And these are, I think they're pretty cool. All the, the lights messing with you. They're new balances. It's like cow print or whatever. Or black and white. I don't know if it's, I, I think they're cool. They're gray, gray here. And they're like a light gray with uh, like a little bit of a gum and white sole. Pretty cool looking. Eight and a half got these. 99 seven H's, whatever that means. I don't know anything about shoes. Trey would know instantly, but uh, got those, and then can't go wrong with a pair of these. And they didn't have her size. I don't know if they have half sizes, but I got her a pair of eights. She probably needs nines, um, but a pair of black uh, Birkenstocks. So more than likely, she'll probably have to return these and get nines. I think I don't know though. Um, she had a. Uh, I got her a pair of Birkenstocks. Oh, I'm gonna take off. Um, got her a pair. Let me try to buckle up. Got her a pair of Birkenstocks. Uh, a couple. I don't know. Four or five years ago, or something like that. I think. And um. Uh, and somehow they got to Alyssa. So I'm not really sure how they got to Alyssa, the oldest daughter. But it's weird. Uh, through the summer, I see her wearing them all the time, and they're not at our house anymore. They must be at Alyssa's apartment. So I went. And and uh, and Amy, she'll she'll give all of her stuff away. I'm like Amy, I'm like freaking, I want you to have this stuff here, you know. So the last ones were brown, so I got her the black ones. I don't know if she'll like those or not, but so that's the plan. Got her uh, the gift certificate, two pairs of shoes, um, and tomorrow we're gonna try to ride. The weather is looking. Uh, good for tomorrow today. It was actually supposed to rain and it's kind of sunshine and today or whatever, but Try to go for 40 50 mile ride tomorrow and Hopefully the next clip you all see will be uh, maybe her showing her this and then telling her we're going for a ride. So uh, If I, have, I haven't said it yet But everybody out all the moms out there watching happy Mother's Day and um, you know, obviously uh, If there wasn't moms out there there wouldn't be a uh, there wouldn't be uh, any of us you need moms. Well, you need you need dads and moms. So, but happy Mother's Day to everybody out there. Uh, seriously, um, having Lakeland and uh, you know being home during the day, uh, I, I used to always. I don't know what's that word. I used to always think that like a stay-at-home mom was like a it was a joke, and the you know the mom needs to work and. You know and 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 pull her own weight and all that kind of stuff and i used to be that way but man when we had lake on my I, I would rather go to work and work 80 hours a week any day of the week than sit home with the baby all day because it drives me insane not be able to get anything done 
Um, I like to be productive during the day, and if we're not productive, I feel like a piece of crap. So, um, but to all those moms out there, if you're a stay-at-home mom, yeah, your job is a lot harder than any other job out there. So, I appreciate y'all. We'll be back here in a little bit. It's Mother's Day, Amy. Yeah. Happy Mother's Day, everybody. This Got is, our moms. Lake's is, having a meltdown. Lake, are you all right? Say hi to everybody. Say hi. Take your binky out, too. No. no, she's not saying hi. Lake's not in a good mood. Hey, do you want us to open the garage door? No. Say hi to everybody. Take your bee out. Hi. Hi, Mom. <laughs> <laughs> you see Mommy in the picture, too? Hmm? You're ready. All right, we're ready. So, All right. Gotta, I've been holding Amy behind the door. Got a surprise for her. Well, might be a little bit of a, let's see. Here, hold your little bag. Okay. Ready? Uh-oh. I think I want to go outside. He didn't want to go outside since I Shut the garage know. door. Ha <laughs> ha, what'd you get me shoes? I got the the bike and some, some gifts there for. The bike is mine too? Yeah. But I thought you wanted to go, go, yeah. huh? I want to go on a ride. That's what, that's what I asked her if she wanted to go on a ride. So I said, well, we'll go on a ride, and then her Mother's Day gifts. Did you one give of me them, some size one of them, Converse? one of them might be mine. <laughs> Let me see them. They're pretty oh, they're sweet. They're good looking, yeah. Yeah, I've never seen them like that before. Where did I sit my bag? Oh, it's under. Never mind. What'd you get me? Oh Lord. Probably got you the wrong size, but I thought those were cool looking. Oh, those are cool looking. No, that's good. Eight and a half. Those are sweet. They're pretty good looking, aren't they? Yeah, they are. I don't know. I thought you'd like them. Are they too I close to the ones we got for Christmas? Mm -mm. No. No, not at all. Okay. I'm really, I'm, I'm digging the new New Balances. They look pretty good, don't they? Yeah, they do. I like that design on them. Man. And then uh, the other like ones are probably have to get another size, but. I Where'd told everybody the story about how your other ones just kind of disappeared. <laughs> on Alyssa's feet, on you Alyssa, mean? And these are black. I don't know if you wanted black or the brown. Don't they, get up there, baby. There's We're no eight and a half. It what goes from it? that to a nine. No, eight to a nine. What is this? Eight. No, An eight? They should be fine. But I figured to go back and get you a nine. Yeah, if I have to go up. Sometimes Birkenstocks runs small. Sometimes. Like my Brooks syrup. A little bit too small? I might go up so to, to avoid Alyssa stealing these ones too. <laughs> yeah, that's what I said in the video. I said, oh, my shoes are falling. That's what I said in the video. The other ones just kind of made it, made it their way onto Alyssa's feet. It's not. I'm not upset about it. I mean, I, I don't mind sharing, but I might not share with these. <laughs> Ooh, I've been doing my own nails for a while. Nice. Hundred bucks. Sweet. I went up there and they got a million different options. You can either get an, a $50 service, a $60 service, a $120 service. I'm like, well, I don't know what what's the best thing. And they're like, a hundred. So it didn't make any sense because they said they have a $120 service. <laughs> Thank you. I like it. This is Mother's Day. What is it? Sunday the 14th, 2023? Yeah. What month is this? May. May, May 14th, yeah. Mother's Day. Can I set these in the garage? Yeah. So I had the, I pulled the bike outside and put everything on the bike in, in Lakeland. Uh, it ate me, we're in the basement, getting ready to take Lake over to mom and dad's house to see them. And um, I came in and shut the garage door and that's what her meltdown was about. Cause uh, she wants to ride. Um, I had it closed and then open it back up to come inside and then shut it. We need to get like and a side she, cart. And she noticed the bike was outside. So that was a surprise. Was it okay? It was great. Thank you. So I think we're going to go for, <clears throat> A ride today. Brian and Jennifer, I think Brian, they're going up to his, yeah, his mom's house later yeah. today, so I don't know if they're going to go, right? I don't know if they're going to go. Are I they? don't know. She hasn't answered me. It, it, it might just be us today. I don't know. We went down, like I said, we went down to the property yesterday and shot guns. Did you mention it to him yesterday? Um, you don't remember? No, I don't remember that, honestly. Well, we'll go hang out with mom and dad for a little bit and um, slowly kind of sneak away. but. I clean some guns. But we'll be back here in a second. Want to say hi again? <laughs> say hi, everybody. That's a fancy scooter, isn't it?
Any good at it, Blake? Blake, you like your scooter? Huh? You need some clothes on, girl. We were at the park yesterday, and there's a little... Uh, he's probably four. He's whipping around on one smaller than that, just like that. And he was whipping on that thing. Just as hard as he could ride it. Uh-oh, oh, that black dog's out. Blake. Oh, never mind. That's Jacob's dog. What did I say? We got a dog that comes up from down off of DeCourcy. Randomly, he's he's up here like twice a week. It's either a he or she, I don't know what it is, but Hoss goes absolutely crazy when the dog's in the yard. You know, Hoss is, he don't have his collar on now, but he thinks he's got his collar on. He's got an in-ground fence around the yard. And when that dog comes in here, that's the only thing that can get him out of this fence is uh, that dog, but that's their dog over there. So, different dog. But, just got back from the ride. We rode, uh, it's really nice out today. We rode, I don't know, like 60 or 70 miles, not too far. And, playing outside with the baby and stuff right now. She got her a scooter, a scooter yesterday to play with. But, Amy, what's the plan now? Gold Star sounds better. Skyline. What do you think? What do you want? Lake, you're running fast? Huh? Still getting Lake to listen. Not to run in the street. Well, especially not on Wolf. That street right there. Well, you can't see it down there, but... This street is getting a little bit worse. Everybody goes about 40 up and down the road, but trying to teach her to, when we walk outside of this, she reaches for our hands before we cross the street. All right, I guess we're gonna take mom out to eat. Be back here in a minute. your knees feeling uh, is it hurting a little. right now it's not terrible it's not terrible. like uh, it, it could be a lot worse what's your next appointment schedule for your other knee it isn't <laughs> no way Jose. Clear it, don't bite oh, don't bite daddy don't bite dad are you, are you sitting in the back or the front I'm not going nowhere. Oh, when'd you get a handicap I marker? Think I have one. When'd you? How'd you get? The, how long did you get to keep that? Three months. Really? Yeah. Temporarily disabled. Yep. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> Wait, right, here, going. here's her purse. All right, we'll see all the house. What in the world's Amy doing in here? We're coming, we're not leaving. Amy's coming. Um, yeah. Alright, well, that was the that was the Mother's Day. I was kinda of waiting for Amy to come out at the end of end the video. But hopefully hopefully all the mothers out there have had a Great Mother's Day, relaxing day. Amy, what in the world took so long? Uh, moms were free. Moms were free? Yeah, me and Shari's meals were free. It was on Re really? Yeah. Well, that's a shout out to Gold Star in Latonia, Kentucky, right? Yeah. Is that at all the Gold Stars on Mother's Day? I, I think it's just the guy who owns this one. Remember, um, we met, I don't know, me and Melissa met him when we were over off of Dixie. He owns this one and he owns the one over off Dixie and a couple more. Okay. Oh, she's not even. Hmm. Hey, baby, go to the house. Huh? You going to the house? Yeah, for a little bit. Oh. I guess we're going to Grandma 
grandma's porch. Go on the back porch for a little bit? Yeah, hang out with grandma. Alright, well, we'll uh, be back here in a minute. We'll end it in a second. That's all she wrote. It's about 8.30. Just sat on the back porch with mom and dad everybody for a little bit. and Just got a Amazon package. But we are, uh, that was the day. Thank you all a ton for support. Hope you liked the video. Um, once again, shout out to all the moms out there. Uh, subscribe here. Subscribe to Ask the Bell Live. Subscribe to, uh, what is it? The Bell Life Bangs. And check us out on bellife.com. We'll see you all in the next one. Thanks.